Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kate from Kate's Corner. Today I'm going to be doing a demo and review on the white foundation or it's just a foundation lightener from Stargazer. And I also have the pressed powder in white as well to set my under eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, this foundation. I've had it for a while now. And this is, I mean, you can probably tell it's way too dark for me. So I'm just going to mix some of this and with that and with the foundation and I'm also going to try and lighten the concealer see how that works out so I'm just gonna open this up and we're gonna dive on in um, before we put any foundation on my face is freshly washed I moisturized and did whatever I do to my face normally um, I did this eye look already um, I have recorded a video for it so that'll be coming soon um, I'm just going to be priming my face with this elf hydrating primer I'm going to put that all over my face and then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my Maybelline baby skin just in the places where I have pores and texture okay so now I'm just going to take um, the foundation on the back. This is like just a candle lid. I, there's some conceal. Sorry, there's some concealer there. Um, I'm going to try that as well um, afterwards. But I'm just going to put some foundation on the back of this. Put some of the white foundation in. Mix it together, and see what I come out with. All right. So I just did. I know it looks like a lot, but I just did two pumps of that. It looks lighter because of little lights in here. But oh, interesting. There's not a pump. It's like this. That's weird. Yeah, let me turn out one of these lights so you can see it a little better. That is so strange. That is like, it looks goopy as heck too, but all right. Back to the schedule program. <laughs> Now I'm just going to use my Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 Conceal and Highlight. I'm just going to squeeze out a little onto the back of, whoops, that was a lot, onto the back of my palette here. I'm going to mix in some of this white um, foundation. Even though it's a foundation, it's it's very thick as you could see, so I'm, I'm assuming I could probably get away with mixing it in with my concealer. Okay, now I'm just going to take a flat concealer brush and I'm going to put this under my eyes. I think that did a pretty darn good job of brightening. I'm impressed. And I really didn't use that much of the the white in this, like literally just a little dab. I'm gonna put a little more where my dark spots are. And right, now I'm gonna go in with the Stargazer pressed powder and it just looks like this. It's a pure white powder, but this actually has white pigment in it um, not to be confused with the no color powder that is also white. So I'm just going to tap out any of the creases under my eyes. And I'm going to use this pointy dome type of brush that I always use to set my eyes. And I'm going to pick up some of the powder and set. 
Okay, now I'm just going to take that same brush and set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Better Skin um, Pressed Powder. I'm pretty impressed with this. I mean, this is a definite, definite win for me. I mean, yeah, this is on the thicker side, but it's something I can deal with. I mean, it's nothing that too crazy. This stuff, I don't know if you can tell or not. Here, let me see if I can turn my lights off so you can tell. I mean, I can tell a difference, like, in person. I don't know if it's really coming across on camera or not. I'm just going to go and apply the rest of my face products, my contour, my blush, my highlight, all that stuff. And I'll meet you back to see how everything applied. Alright guys, so all my face products are done. Um, I'm just going to give you my final thoughts on this as I almost dropped it. Um, the Stargazer found white foundation and the white pressed powder. Um, I really, really, really like the white pressed powder. As you can probably tell, it really does a great job of highlighting my pale ass skin. I mean, I am quite pale. It's very, very difficult for me to find foundations that are actually light enough. I mean, even high-end foundations, which I have quite a few of, and I just, they're, they're, they're just, it's just very hard for me to find, um, light foundations. So, um... Just again, this is what it looks like. It's very goopy. It, it's like, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but I mean, like, if you can see the inside of the bottle, you see how thick it is? I mean, like, it, it ain't coming out. Um, I don't particularly care for that aspect of it, only because it makes the, whatever foundation you mix into it, I mean, I've only mixed the, obviously, the Sephora, um, Sephora brand foundation in. But it made it so thick that it was kind of hard to apply. Um, but the end result I do like. So, I mean, if you're using maybe a liquidier foundation, then this would be a great option. But when you're in a pinch and your foundation doesn't match you and you have this on hand, it's a definite, definite um, win for me. Um, I'm going to try and find some other white foundation mixers and try them out and see how, you know, they work. And then maybe I'll do like a, a best and worst video um, if that's something you guys are interested in. Um, but that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and informative for you guys. Um, so, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me because it really does help me out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, which is that little red button, which will either be down below or up to the side. Whichever, whichever device you're on, it will vary. And hit that little bell notification so you will be notified every time I upload a video. And that is about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love you guys have been sending me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.